Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel Max PM. So in this video we will solve a numerical problem based on the measurement of pressure by differential manometer. So what is differential manometer? Differential, man differential manometer is a manometer in which pressure difference of two pipes are measured. So this is the problem. A differential manometer is connected at two points A and B. So this is A, this is B. The pipe A contains liquid at specific gravity 1.5. So specific gravity of A is 1.5, and so density will be specific gravity into density of water. So uh, density of A is equal to 1.5 into 1000, which will equal to 1500 kg per meter cube now pipe b contains a liquid of a specific gravity point time so for pipe b point 9 is specific gravity so density of b will be point 0.9 into density of water which is 1000 which is equal to 900 kg per meter cube so we have calculated density of both the pressure at A and B are pressure PA is given as 1 kgf of per centimeter square so everything we are converting into meter Newton meter so we will convert it to meter square so 1 kgf per meter square into this will be 10 to the power 4 so it will be 10 to the power 4 kgf per meter square now 1 kgf force 1 kg force is equal to 9.81 newton okay so we can write it pa is equal to 9.81 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square this is standard unit we are we are using so we have converted it uh, p into this similarly pb is equal to 1.8 kgf per centimeter square so similarly it will be 1.8 into 9.81 into 10 to the power 4 newton per meter square okay so if you multiply it if you will multiply it you will get or you can keep it like this because usually 9.81 gets cancelled in the equation so pressure at x x section in both limbs will be same because both limbs are mercury and they are connected so pressure at x x suppose this is c this is d the pc and pd will be same so pc will be pa plus we are going down so it will be plus this height is 3 plus 2 5 meter Five meter of column of liquid A in A, so rho G H of liquid plus rho G H of mercury. This one it will be equal to P P D, which is equal to P B plus rho G H of liquid b okay so we will put all the values pa pa is 9.81 into 10 to the power 4 plus rho gh of liquid a is rho is for a we have calculated 1500 1500 into g is 9.81 into 
हाइट इज थ्री प्लस टू फाइव मीटर प्लस और मार्कर रो इज थर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इंटू हाइट इज वी डोंट नो सो एच मीटर इज इक्वल टू पी डी वॉट इज पी डी पी डी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड पी वी प्लस रो जी एस सो वॉट इज पी वी वन पॉइंट एट इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इंटू टेन टू दी पावर फोर दिस इज पी वी प्लस रो जी एस फॉर लिक्विड एंड बी सो रो एज डेंसिटी फॉर लिक्विड एंड बी एज नाइन हंड्रेड सो नाइन हंड्रेड इंटू जे एज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इंटू हाइट एज दिस टू प्लस एच ओके सो दिस इज योर इक्वेशन वी कैन डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन बाई नाइन पॉइंट एट वन बिकॉज इट इज कॉमन सो नाइन पॉइंट एट वन विल बी कैंसिल्ड This is a big calculation. So, we can divide this. Uh, you can see here we have hundred comma hundred. So we can divide it by ten to the power two. So here we'll have hundred plus fifteen into five plus. 136h is equal to 1.8 into 100 plus 9 into 2 plus h because we have divided everything by 100, so we will get 100 plus 75 plus 136h is equal to 180. Or this is plus plus 18 plus 9h. So if we bring h this side, then it will be 136 minus 9h will be equal to this is 180 plus 18 is 198. Minus the hundred plus seventy five is one seventy five. It is one twenty seven. H is equal to twenty three. So H will be equal to twenty three divided by. 127. So if you will divide this, then you will get h is equal to 0.181 meter. So if you will convert it into centimeter, then you will get 18.1 centimeter because one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So this is the value of h, and we have to find the value of h itself because we have to find the difference in the level of the mercury. So I hope you understood this problem if you have any doubt then please ask in the comment section and thanks for watching this video